for today is Tuesday, January 25th, 2022. The weather today will be cloudy and cold. Today's lunch choice will be chicken nuggets. Today's special day is B2. Now it's time for the morning meeting. Last week, we read Good Boy Fergus by David Shannon. This week, we are going to read another one of David Shannon's book, Alice the Fairy. Good morning, my friends. So today, I get to read to you guys one of the books that we're going to look at for our David Shannon author study. I know a lot of you guys have probably read in your classrooms the No David books, um, but there's some really great books that you can find in the library that aren't just the No David books, the David Shannon series. So this is Alice the Fairy, and I love Alice the Fairy because she's kind of got a spunky attitude and she loves to be a fairy but she make make believes a lot in this book probably like what you guys do when you play and you make believe that you can do different things but she thinks she's a fairy and this is by David Shannon Alice the fairy my name is Alice I'm a fairy I'm not a permanent fairy I'm a temporary fairy you have to pass a lot of tests to be a permanent fairy. I have wings so I can fly. I can't fly very high yet, but I can fly really fast. This is my magic wand. This is my blanket. Fairies use magic wands to change frogs into princes and things like that. I changed my dad into a horse. One time, my mom made cookies for my dad. So, I turned them into mine. <laughs> she ate them all, didn't she? I felt bad about the cookies, so I thought I'd whip up a new outfit for my dad. Did I tell you he's the Duke of Morningside Drive? Well, he is. His golden, sparkly pants, purplish, pinkish shoes, my favorite color, and plaid velvet shirt. I wonder if he liked that outfit. But clothes were too hard, so I made him a new crown instead. With my magic wand, I can make leaves fall from trees. And I can draw pictures in water. Sometimes I use my wand to disappear. But that's kind of scary. She doesn't like the dark, does she? I'd rather use my blanket. Of course, I also have a magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairiest of them all? Well, what do you know? It's me, Alice. Thank you, mirror. Fairy dust is very useful. I use it to turn oatmeal into cake. Hmm, I wonder what that is in there. Kind of looks like sugar, doesn't it? Casting spells is another important part of being a fairy. Watch me make my dog float on the ceiling. Hocus pocus, croak and docus. How can talcan, rig and falcon? Dog and flog and biddle noggin. Okay, that one needs a little bit of work. But a fairy must be very careful with magic. Ooh. Once I accidentally turned my white dress into a red one. That made the Duchess so mad she locked me in the tower forever. I got away though. A fairy's life is filled with danger. Broccoli is often poisoned by the wicked Duchess and should never be eaten. Fairies also hate baths. I like to turn my bath water into strawberry jello. That would be fun. But. I don't know how to yet. You have to be a permanent fairy to do tricks like that. They go to advanced fairy school to learn how. I'm supposed to learn how to make clothes, get up off the floor and dance around in a line and up in the closet. I'm not very good at that though. I'll probably be a temporary fairy for
forever. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed this book. I've really enjoyed doing Alice the Fairy with you guys. And next week, we will read one more book by David Shannon. Have a great day. JPS Kids Soar Higher. Super problem solvers, outstanding writers, accomplished readers, ready for success. Now let's say our excess equation. Hard work plus resiliency plus teamwork equals success. Have a great day.